But when I started this from day nine on board the Piano Iona, when today we are in the sunny, sunny port of Valencia. Take a look at this summer paradise on the east coast of Spain. Now I started my day in Valencia like I do in most other ports. Went to the buffet to grab some breakfast, then up on top to do some sunbathing. Now unfortunately I had to cut the sunbathing a little bit short today because I was testing basically what I was doing was touching my skin to feel if it was hot. And that was basically how I was judging whether I was burning or not. I don't know if that's an official way to test. No idea, it's just what I was doing. <laughs> and I felt my arm about an hour and a half into it and it was warm to the touch. So I thought, oh, okay, it's time to go. Um, I'm not sure if I have burnt to be fair, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So we will be, of course, exploring the port of Valencia, but we will be doing it lotioned up, being safe. All right, so even though the weather channel says here that it is actually colder than it was yesterday, uh, by four degrees actually, it definitely feels a lot warmer and that sun is very intense out there at the moment. So I'm not sure how accurate this is. I've also noticed down here on our next two ports of call, it actually says that it's raining. Um, but we won't look at that. We'll pretend that doesn't exist because uh, I don't want to ruin anything because we haven't had any rain the whole holiday. And it's quite amazing, really. So we'll just we'll just forget about that. We'll forget about that for now. It's fine. All right. Well, Valencia is out there and it's currently calling my name. So we're going to go and have a little bit of exploration. Um, I can see far in the distance, there is a beach over there. I'm not sure if we'll make it to the beach. Um, it's, I don't know how long it's going to get there, but we'll see if we can get there. Um, but first thing I'm going to do is get lotioned up. Then we're going to go exploring. So let's go do that. All right, well, it's that time to get lotioned up. I don't know if you actually meant to shake this, but. Oh, yeah. I haven't missed this whatsoever. Doing that, <laughs> it looks so weird. I don't know. <laughs> so, we're all ready to go and explore Valencia. But before we get out there, we're gonna have to go to the buffet first because I don't know if I can go that long without eating. So, <laughs> let's go to the buffet, then we'll get exploring.
Well, there you go, guys. That was a beautiful place called Valencia. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, my little walk around. And now I'm going to tell you how I nearly came to call this place home. So hopefully on the screen, there'll be a map of how far I actually went. Um, so to get to the beach, it was about an hour and a half walk. Uh, so I went pretty far. So normally when I go off at these ports, I'm very careful about what I do because the idea of getting lost in a foreign country doesn't really appeal to me. So I tend to memorize the path that I take. Um, so for example, like left, right, left, um, in order to find my way back. But more importantly, I memorize landmarks of where I go. Um, and I'm able to then follow those like breadcrumbs to then get back to the ship. So I remember I left the beach and got to the end of it. And I looked around and I thought, ah, I don't recognize anything, <laughs> which was a little bit daunting, I have to be honest. But there was a silver lining because I could actually see the ship from where I was. Because the ship's so big, you can basically see it from space at this point. I don't know. So I thought, brilliant. I'll head towards the ship. And I was walking down. There was like this... Um, pathing i don't really know what you'd call it it was like a raised um raised path and there was a lot of people about and i thought this doesn't really seem familiar to me i walked through like an industrial bit to get here but yet there's like all these people about um but i kept following it and i trusted it heading towards the ship unfortunately this was a dead end as i got to the end there was a, a waterway in front of me and i couldn't actually get to the ship so i had a choice i could either jump in and swim to the other side probably get arrested in the process, but explain, hey, I'm British, they'll probably let me go. Or the alternative was I had to go all the way back and all the way around. And of course, being the well-behaved tourist that I am, I chose option B, which meant that I had to go all the way back, all the way around, all the way, all the way back to the ship, which was going to take me a fair bit of time. Not only that, but also the sun was setting as well. So I had the darkness working against me. Of course, I took a little moment to capture the sunset as you do. But I started making my way back um, towards the end of the path, the sort of hope that I'd be able to pick up on any landmarks. And luckily, when I came to the end of the path, there was a landmark that I noticed and the trail of breadcrumbs began. So I made my way to this building and then saw this other building, which I remembered and was able to follow this and work my way back. So at this point, it was about two hours until the all aboard time. Now I calculated that it had taken me just over an hour to get to the beach. So there was a very good chance that I wasn't gonna make it. And that's a very daunting experience when you realize that you might have to live in this place, in a place you've never been before, in a country that you've never been before. What am I talking about? I've been here loads of times. And that you don't speak the language. Unfortunately, Ola will only get you so far. So with my potential new home on the horizon, I realized that I had to make every effort to get back to the ship. And it was a very rewarding experience to actually follow these breadcrumbs and try and work out where I was. Unfortunately, I wasn't stressed for too long because I took the time to record the moon. Maybe part of me wanted to live in Valencia, which by the way, is an absolutely beautiful place and there's much worse places I'd rather be stranded in than Valencia. But I'd rather move here on my own terms with maybe a few things with me, not just my phone and cruise card. So I followed the breadcrumbs, everything. It was getting ever colder and ever darker and it became more and more difficult because the problem is when you follow these breadcrumbs, you don't realize that you're actually following it in reverse. So you're looking at the other side to what you did before. So sometimes if you look at a building, from the other side looks very different. Plus it was getting darker as well, which made it more difficult to recognize the buildings that I did before. But surely and steadily, I was able to follow it back, slowly seeing things, slowly, it was little things as well. I was like, oh yeah, this was the ramp that I walked up uh, when I got stuck behind that woman walking really slowly. And it's little things like that. And it was a very rewarding experience. Um, not that I really got to appreciate it at that time, <laughs> because I was kind of getting a bit stressed out that I was going to have to learn Spanish. But of course, you know the outcome of the story because I'm currently on the ship recording this video. So you know that I did make it back. And that was Valencia, the place that I nearly got to call home. Maybe one day I will, but hopefully it will be through the right channels and not being left behind by a cruise ship. 
Um, but absolutely beautiful place. Um, I can't think of any other place I'd rather be stranded than Valencia. It was absolutely beautiful. There was a very nice uh, woman I got off who offered me the shuttle uh, in order to, I think it was the old town, uh, she said. But I said, no, it's okay. I'll walk. And I think the moral of this story is that when someone offers you a shuttle, just take the shuttle. <laughs> it's a lot easier. But it was definitely an adventure. I got back on the ship with about an hour to spare uh, before we leave. So that's good. Uh, we will be making it to our next port of call, which is uh, good to hear. Um, <laughs> but it was absolutely great. The beach was amazing. I don't normally go that far, but there was something about Valencia. It kept pulling me in, keep wanting me to <laughs> kind of keep going. I don't know why. I just kind of, my, my system of kind of going left, right, left just sort of became, <laughs> I was just like, and I was just like, oh, I have no idea how to get back. Uh, but there you go. That was one of the experiences. I will never forget this place uh, for the good and the bad <laughs> that it was. Uh, but yeah, we're back on the ship now, uh, a lot later than I was anticipating, uh, which is kind of going to throw everything out of uh, line for me, I think. But that's fine. So we've got about an hour. We've got a few things we need to do. Uh, we need to go to the buffet. We need to watch the sail away. And I need to have a shower. Um, to get all this sun lotion on me because I spent most of my time in Valencia with it in my eyes, uh, which was really painful. And I probably looked really weird because uh, I kept doing this probably a lot of the time and I probably had really bloodshot eyes. Um, but apart from, that, apart from that, it was a good day in Valencia. Well, guys, that was Valencia, one of my more interesting days on board the Piano Iona. Um, it was a beautiful place, uh, beautiful people as well. Um, everyone looked really young and healthy, <laughs> which shows that there's probably some truth in that Spanish lifestyle. But guys, that's going to bring us to the end of day nine on board the Piano Iona. Tomorrow is a sea day as we make our way further west and begin our journey home. Well, I guess yesterday we began our journey home because Barcelona was the furthest place we went. But um, I like to kind of delay it because I'm getting quite comfortable on the iron. I don't really want to go. Uh, but we've got a few days left to enjoy, so we're not going to think about leaving just yet. Uh, we're going to enjoy the rest of our time, get some more sun, and um, do whatever. But I'm going to go have a shower now and get all this leftover lotion off me. And um, I'll save you um, from having to watch that. So we'll uh, we'll end the video here. So um, yeah, Valencia, man. I'm going to apply for my Spanish citizenship as soon as I get home. Uh, <laughs> you think I'm joking as well?